Sunday night. Six one one two refrigerated. I like pulling refrigerated. Just because I've done it all my life. It's actually the first place I've done drive in. It's always been refrigerated. But it's 18,000 pounds, so the axles are stood up pretty good. Full tank of fuel. Doesn't need to be refrigerated, but maybe my backhaul will be. But this is from Saputo Cheese. It's just the ingredients, but it's got a seal. I put my lock on there, make sure you always get a weatherproof lock. That way it's not your fault if anything happens with the load because you locked everything. The insurance, they always ask if it was locked, if there's any lost products. But, tires look all good. This is the utility, it's been bumped around. Other than that, I'm going southeast of Indianapolis, about a six hour drive. Should be there about five in the morning. I got a nine o'clock appointment, but they open at eight, so I'll check in an hour early. That should be good. Well, it's all about the night owls now. I'll go through Chicago, and it's nice and quiet, Sunday night. Yeah, the bubble look at the back up pretty good. See, so yeah, I have to tint the, those back lights. Looks like it's turning white in the middle, so I have to put another layer of tint on it. Getting a little pinkish, it's not for me. But I notice they start fading right around the tint by the LEDs. actually look oranges not this pink kind of color I like a dark red a burgundy is really nice a maroon kind of look all right time to hit the road looks like Glambia Glambia there are a big place in, in Idaho but I'm in Indiana it's about 52 degrees out this morning. I come down here and it's about 70 degrees. It's a nice little place here. It's really easy to get to. Just off of Indianapolis. Uh, they just opened up so they're ready to do it again. It's Monday. Hope everybody had a good weekend. Pepsi company here in Indianapolis. Looks like I'm loading Pepsi products. I gotta go to Sheboygan, probably Sheboygan Falls. And that's a Pepsi distribution area. I need to be there tomorrow. That's it, you just hit the stock. You wait for it to turn red, then it'll turn green. I get the leave. And then the seal will be in the back and shut the doors, seal it up, slide the axles back up, go to the guard shack and get your paperwork. That's the instructions. That's my Monday. And then Tuesday morning, 4 to about noon, I think, is the hours are open. It's all about getting to Chicago, Milwaukee. It's north of Milwaukee when it comes down to going to this bottling company. Ooh, Leonard's Express. I remember those days. Don't miss it. A lot of waiting around for days. Plus you had a camera watching you drive. Too big of a company. I like family owned businesses. That's the right way to go. I'm over here in Sheboygan. Sheboygan Falls, probably. But it's about 4.30 in the morning. It's raining pretty good. Let me 
kind of see if this is a chalk. It doesn't look like it. Might be. Yeah. Yeah, it does look like a chalk. something new that should work out yeah there's a reflector on that chalk there's a little sensor but we'll see what kind of backhaul I get it's Tuesday it's supposed to rain pretty good I'm right at the front of the storm. It started right when I got into Milwaukee. Uh, this is Pepsi. All ready to go and fill up those Pepsi machines. Oh well, it's a good little rinsed free try uh, free truck wash. Oh, back at the yard. That's it for six one one two. Feature it is it's the right way to go. It's a little heavy when you're watching move for weight versus a dry van. But it's solid. But it's raining pretty good. It's been downpouring pretty hard now. That's alright. I'll put it next to the other refrigerated. Well it's getting a nice little bath right now. It's supposed to rain all the way till tomorrow at 7 in the morning. So that's all done, and the truck will be all washed, and then I just do the chrome dress the tires. And it'll look brand new again. It's about 7 in the morning. We'll see what they have for me. It's probably a drop and hook. Well, I'm in Manitowoc. Manitowoc. Uh, this is just north of Sheboygan, about 10 miles away, but I went to the yard first, took to, dropped off the refrigerated, and picked up this dry van. Now this truck doesn't look right, it's actually backwards. Huh. The other way. That doesn't seem right. That should be on the other side. Huh. It doesn't make sense. The bar is in the way too. Well, I guess that's all I could do. I wonder if there's other ones. Yeah, they're all for passenger side. It's a little different. Guess I'll take it on the other side. Thought maybe it was spin around or something, but nope. It's not made for that. But it's gonna be raining all day, I take it. I gotta take this over uh, north of Chicago. Not a fun place. Yeah, all these trucks are backwards. This trailer is 53503. It's a bit beat up, it looks like. Got a rat rod rim in the back. Alright, hurry up and wait. I'm in Lake Forest. 
Lake Forest, Illinois. The rain stopped trying to start going south. It's hitting Milwaukee pretty good. But that's it. My rat rod rim sure looks awkward compared to the other rims. But we'll see how today works out. I only got about two and a half, almost three hours left on my logs. Huh? Looks like they're unloading me now. All right. We'll see what they give me next. Well, I'm back in Watertown. I picked up um, Coca-Cola, cans of Coca-Cola. Just expired. Not a waste. But it's all about uh, picking that up in northern Chicago. It took me about four hours to get out of there. This is Watertown. And we'll see how Wednesday is going to be. We just got done with some rain. I'm in Mayville. This is G uh, GFL. Picking up cardboard bales. Going to Green Bay with this one. But it's 4th of July tomorrow, so maybe I'm doing these short runs because I have a day off. from Chicago, Wisconsin, then to Mayville to Green Bay. This is a drop and hook. I drop this off and go and pick up an empty. We'll see what they have for me. So it's a simple day, I guess. Well, back at the yard. Six o'clock at night. I picked up this one, 53060. Did a drop and hook up there in Green Bay. So, brought this back to the yard. But other than that, I gotta clean this out. It's pretty dirty. But it's July 3rd, so I get tomorrow off and Friday, so I get a four day. But this is all messed up. I gotta clean this up. That's a lot of mess here. But it's all about uh, all those cardboard bales. But this trailer has been sitting over there for a while, so I figure I'd pick it up. Looks pretty beat up. Lines are hanging pretty low. There's about four trailers empties that need to be brought back. Nice little scratch. Yeah, these trailers are $45,000 for these dogs. You gotta put your love in it. Well, I hope everybody will have a good 4th of July weekend. Some will get a couple days off. And I'll talk to you all probably Sunday night or Monday morning. <laughs>